Hi, welcome back. All right, in this lesson, we're finally actually going to start writing some music. As you can see, I've changed the title of my piece. Uh, perhaps it'll change later on. I don't know. We'll see as we progress through it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually come up here and change the tempo. I've just double clicked on my tempo. I'm going to make it 120 instead of 100. We'll actually cover how to create your own tempo markings in a later lesson. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to select the first bar of the marimba part here and zoom on in. All right, let's scoot that on over. Uh, first thing I want to touch on is the escape key. It's basically kind of your get out of jail free, deselect everything card. Uh, so if I hit the escape key here, it'll deselect what I have selected. Uh, now, sometimes if you're entering music, you'll actually have to press it twice to make that happen. But uh, just press it until things aren't selected and then you're golden. All right, so we're going to cover the main two ways of entering music. The, using the computer keyboard and the MIDI keyboard. Uh, we're going to start with the computer keyboard. So let's uh, start by selecting this first bar here. And then I'm going to press C on the keyboard. And basically the idea here is uh, you're going to enter whatever pitch is you're wanting to enter. Just press it on the computer keyboard. So I want to enter a C. But I actually want the C below the staff. Uh, so to make the cursor go away, I'll hit Escape. So now I just have the note selected. I'm going to use my arrows on the keyboard. Slide it on down. Now to select the rhythm I want, I actually want eighth notes. I could press the button here using the mouse, but I'm actually going to use the uh, my notepad or my keypad here, pressing three on there. So you'll notice there it changed to three, changed an eighth note uh, down there. So I'm just going to select it again and press C. Then I'll go up a little scale, up to G. So C, D, E, F, G. Now let's go back down. So it's kind of neat that the Sibelius knows based on uh, where you're entering pitches, it will do the nearest pitch to that. So it's not going to jump all over the stave. It's actually going to do the nearest pitches, which is kind of handy if you're wanting to write a line that's all uh, kind of in the same contour. All right, so let's go ahead and hit Escape, Deselect. Hit it twice there. Now we're totally deselected. Uh, something else you can actually do in starting in Sibelia 6, you come up here to Window and choose Keyboard. Um, so this, I guess this is technically a third uh, entry method. If we um, have this selected, or let's actually go back to the beginning, we could actually say C, D, and then that, that's changing to a D. We don't want to do that necessarily. So I'm going to hit Escape, make this go away. But you can actually... Uh, by pressing this query input, we could come in here and say, you can see down at the bottom, I'm actually entering notes using that keyboard. So that's kind of handy. Uh, let's go ahead and hit escape, make this go away. I'm actually going to select this entire bar. Now use my arrows and shift everything back down. There we go. All right. So that's it for using the computer keyboard. Now we're going to move on using the MIDI keyboard. And one of the first things I want to show you that's pretty cool, if you just select the bar and then deselect, I can actually tinker around on the keyboard. So that's kind of neat if you're wanting to just experiment with entry in general, kind of with what you want actually want to write. You can Let's do the same thing with the vibes. All right, we're going to stick with a marimba for now. So let's go back and select it. Now using my MIDI keyboard, I'm going to enter pretty much the same thing I did in the last measure. Cool. Another neat thing about using the MIDI keyboard is, is as long as it's a velocity sensitive keyboard, you can actually hear the uh, different dynamics and uh, sample levels. So that's kind of handy. Uh, well, that's basically it for this lesson. And the next lesson, we'll actually cover the idea of using key maps and the uh, using the mapping diagrams and such uh, that can be found in the diagrams PDF. See you next time.